Hi, this is Lara at Elliott Wave Forex with a free US dollar index Elliott Wave analysis for you for the week ending Friday the 14th of January. This is my main wave count for the dollar. I'm not going to go over alternates today. I'll probably do that in next analysis of the dollar. This main wave count expects that it's within a third wave at intermediate degree to the upside within a primary third wave. This downwards wave has a very, very strong three wave look. So corrections are to the downside and impulses are to the upside when we look at it on a daily chart. I expect that within the early stages of wave 3 black, and 3 black will reach 1.618 the length of wave 1 at 99.16. I'll consider wave 3 black confirmed when price moves above 88.7 and 08, as that will invalidate a couple of my alternates, and wave 3 must move beyond the end of 1. This is wave 1 high off to the left of the chart. In the mid-term, I expect upwards movement towards about 88.18, where wave 3 blue will reach 1.618 the length of wave 1 blue. The dollar's been pretty much moving sideways for a little while. We have a zigzag down for W, joined by an upwards wave, zigzag for X, another zigzag down for Y to end wave 2 blue down here most likely. Thereafter, we can see this is an impulse to the upside for a first wave. I've changed the degree of labelling and moved it up one degree today here. And we've got a very, very deep second wave correction. Second waves can and often do correct to very deep degrees, but within a third wave at minor degree, within a third wave at intermediate degree, we would expect a second wave correction to be shallower rather than deeper. For that reason, wave behaviour is not conforming to expectations for this wave count, and I have an alternate, which I do favour slightly, and I'll present at the end of this analysis for you, that expects just one more push to the downside. Not a lot more further downwards movement, but at least a little bit more. This ma main wave count here is invalidated with movement below 78.775 as wave 2 can't move beyond the start of wave 1. So taking you now to an hourly chart with the high for pink 1 and the low for pink 2 down here. It's pink 1 here and pink 2 down here. And we can see a satisfactory corrective count to the downside now for the C wave, sorry, for the second wave correction at pink degree with an A flat for B, A, B, C. And working on a C wave to the downside with a 1, 2, 3, 4 and an extended fifth wave. Some really nice Fibonacci ratios in here. Wave C green is just 0.164 longer than 4.236 the length of this little A green. An unusual Fibonacci ratio but it is a mathematically correct Fibonacci ratio and that's a fairly decent ratio. Not too far off between those two. Within wave C we can see a nice ratio here. Wave 3 orange is 0.162 short or sorry longer than equality with wave 1 orange. And wave 5 orange is just 0 0.038 longer than 1.618 the length of wave 3. Quite a nice relationship between those two. Within this fifth wave extension wave 3 purple has no Fibonacci ratio to wave 1. But wave 5 purple is just 0 0.044 short of 1.618 the length of wave 1, so a fairly reasonable ratio there. This wave count has a satisfactory corrective count, which you need to see for an ABC. If we see movement below 78.806, this interpretation of most recent movement is incorrect, and at that stage I would use my alternate wave count, which does expect one more wave to the downside, and I have a little target to work with there. So if price moves below this point, I have a target expecting how far, how low it's going to go. This wave count however expects some pretty strong upwards movement imminently which is at this stage looking like we will get it but not quite as soon as expected. Up to 82.91 where 3 pink will reach 1.618 the length of wave 1 pink. But I expect this is probably the more likely scenario with this strong downwards movement of the last three days and overall it's been pretty much moving sideways since the end of Blue Wave 1, back on the 30th of November, we've had down, up, down, up and down again. And this looks like a flat correction which takes price sideways for quite a while, for a second wave at blue degree. We have a three wave structure for A, a flat requires A to subdivide to a three, an ABC flat itself, a three wave structure for B, and now working on an impulse to the downside for C, because we need to see an impulsive count from this high up here to the low, what I have on the hourly chart requires one more wave to the downside to make a correct impulsive count, which may be priced down to 78.688 where wave C pink will reach equality with wave A pink. This is a regular flat correction because wave B pink is a 95% correction of wave A, so it's not 
not high enough, not deep enough to be an expanded flat, which tells us we should most likely expect wave C to end around about the level of wave A. And this would take it just below and make it equal in length with A, which is the most common relationship between A and C within a regular, regular flat correction. So that's a fairly high probability. I really do expect that this is a more correct wave count. It has a better look and it explains wave behavior most easily for this recent movement flat. Corrections and triangles are the same, tend to just take price sideways. So that would explain all the sideways movements since the end of November. One more wave to the downside to be visible on the hourly chart towards this target and then when that's over the dollar would be expecting some pretty strong upwards movement. When I have a 9 end to wave 2 blue I'll then calculate a more mid term target for 3 blue to the upside. For now we'll just use this long term target for wave 3 black at 99.16. Downwards movement for wave 2 cannot move beyond the start of 1, so the invalidation point on this daily chart for this wave count is 75.631, but I would expect price to not get down that low at all. It may also come down a little bit lower to end around about the fourth wave of one lesser degree, but I think this is a higher probability target. So I expect, although prices come very, very close to that target I had calculated last, I do expect that we're probably going to see just a little bit more downwards movement, perhaps one or two more trading days before we see that upwards movement that we've been waiting for since about the end of November. Prices just pretty much moved sideways since then, which is typical for a flat correction, and it will be over soon. This is an expiring trend. That's all for me with your free dollar analysis. I hope this helps you in your trading and if you would like daily analysis of the euro and or the pound you'll find it on my site.